first off, I want to thank the uh, brave men and women who work behind the wall. I want to thank them on a national level because their job goes on How recognizing. How did they try to turn a guard? Well, President, uh, correctional officer. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, but correctional officer. Uh... How you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji, host of Tear Talk. In the last couple of days, I've been visiting different colleges. I usually do this around this time of year. Rutgers yesterday, today was Seton Hall. And I want to give my feedback on why I love doing this so much. So when we get back to our sponsor, I want to talk about what I try to discuss, the information that I try to give out, because remember guys, these are our future leaders. These are the ones that may be in positions later on to create positive change. And we may still even be in the field by their time they're able to make that change. So when we come back from our sponsors, I want to give you a little feedback of why I love doing these type of engagements and most importantly, why I feel it's needed. So guys, if you haven't, the show Tear Talks for you is for you brave men and women that work that front line in correction. So please subscribe, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. The bell's going to notify you every time I post a video. I stand by for our sponsors. I wanted to attend a university that had an intelligence program. I wanted to look at problems different. I wanted to increase my critical thinking abilities. AMU offered those avenues to expand. Obtaining your degree as an adult, you're actually paying yourself and investing in yourself. You can't put a dollar on it, it's priceless. It's something that can never be taken away from you. American Military University, learn from the leader. Thank you guys for listening to my sponsor. You know, I love going to speak at these colleges. And guys, it's a tremendous honor. I mean, getting a phone call from colleges like Seton Hall and Rutgers. I mean, it's amazing. And what's cool is they're complementing education with experience. That's the evolution of education. It's not just about the books. It's let's get people that have experience. Let's get them to talk about their perspective. And that could complement what we're reading. And the students, they're informed. The students, they have questions and they're informed questions. They're intelligent questions. But sometimes the questions that they come up with, you know that it either comes from the extreme left of media or the extreme right of media. And you know when you work in the field, the solutions to our concerns are not on either end of the spectrum. They're in the road of compromise in the middle. Reality, if you will. So we, you know, we talk about the trending topics like restrictive housing or solitary mass incarceration, understaffing. I mean, we talked about a lot of topics that affect the correctional system on a national level. Sometimes when they present their question, they present their question as if it's an inmate concern. So it's good to be given the chance to be there and show them how it's a concern from both parties, not just inmates, but from frontline staff. But again, we don't always get that chance to give our perspective. But then when we talk about these controversial topics, I ask them, I said, you really think it's that controversial? It's only controversial if we're looking to answer something on the extremes. But the answer is never going to be in the extreme. It's going to be on the middle ground, the road of compromise. It seems like it's controversial, but every time I have to come up with an answer, I have to give something up to gain. And the only thing, it doesn't solve nothing. It turns out to be a win-loss relationship. In corrections, it cannot be that way. I think in most professions, it cannot be that way. It has to be a compromise where both parties can take something from it. And I told them, in my mind, the topics that are controversial in corrections, that's because no one's making an effort to have all parties work together to solve the issue. Because I guarantee you, if all parties were involved, there would be no controversial issues in corrections. There would be a great compromise. Trust me. I believe that with all my heart and soul. I work with some great professionals. I know that they would love to be part of the solution. But right now, they feel that they're being left out. And when you leave front line out, now it becomes one side versus the other. Front line is what's going to get you that middle ground. And the students understand that. After the class was over, there were students coming up to me saying, hey, 
How could a college degree help me if I'm in corrections? Help you a lot of ways. It could get you in those higher positions. But again, you still have to start off as that frontline professional. You still have to start off as whatever it is, department that you want to enter. But you have to work that floor first. You have to get an understanding of what happens on a frontline level. And then again, you can balance that with education. So experience balanced with education. But there were students willing to get into the field of corrections. Students that are going for their degree, bachelors, masters, that are interested in taking that degree into corrections. I, I think that's pretty good. I appreciate that. And as they were asking questions, some of them would slip the word guard. And I said, ah, right, guys, correctional officer. And they would start correcting themselves. I'm sorry, I meant correctional officer. I said, I understand. And then when the next person asked a the question, they would say correctional officer. Start young. These individuals will be the ones that create the future for corrections. So we get involved with them now. Let them hear the truth. Let them see what we're about. Understand our role. And maybe they could be the ones that bring about change that's not biased change. That's actually change that's beneficial to all parties involved. We have to be a part of the information that they get at this young age. That's why if you're offered a chance to speak at a college or a high school, you do it. Jump on it. Because if we don't, they're going to get their information from somewhere else. And that's what's going to wind up killing the system. Let's educate our future leaders. Start from the bottom. As always, guys, the show is Tear Talk. Had a great day at Seton Hall, great day at Rutgers. Um, and guys, remember, the show Tear Talks for you, you brave men and women who work that front line. So please subscribe, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. The bell's going to notify you every time I post up a video. Stay safe, guys.